Okay, this video covers <clears throat> using RFO Basic on the stem bot. So there we have the stem bot. Uh, and there's an RFO Basic program. And what this Basic program does is it uh, first it stops the robot. Then it's going to use um, the Google Text to, or I'm sorry, Speech to Text Converter. And it's going to go ahead and convert speech into text and compare it so it's either going to hear forward right or left and depending on the command it hears it's going to go ahead and send a servo command for forward for right or for left so you can see this is a very very small program uh, maybe two dozen lines of code at the most um, in RFO basic which is free and uh, but what it can do is actually quite interesting so let's go ahead and run it forward 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 right left forward Left. Forward. Forward. Right. Right. Forward. Right. Forward. Left. Left. Hello, my name is Eric Gregori, <clears throat> and this is the StemBot 1 uh, using uh, RFO Basic. And what I have here is a program that uh, uses the orientation sensor. Uh, it's in the phone, and I'm um, using RFO Basic to read the orientation center, uh, sensor. And what you can see here is as I rotate the robot, this is the raw output of the orient. Actually, it's the orientation sensor divided by 4. So you can see as I rotate the robot, the value changes. Now the goal of this software is designed to follow a path of uh, 45, which translates to about 180 degrees. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the robot. Let's see, he's going to go ahead and find, so let's go ahead and start him, uh, let's just say over here. So he's going to go ahead and find the 45. And he's going to lock in on the 45, and now he's traveling down the 45. So he's using the sensor in a closed loop system to track uh, uh, an orientation. So he's using the sensor, the orientation sensor in the phone, to track a specific magnetic heading, which in this case is a hundred, approximately 180 degrees. So you can see if I start the robot this way, automatically turns until it locks in. A little bit of overshoot, and that locks in, and it goes. 
So this is just an example of using RFO Basic on Stenbot, and in particular using the sensors uh, that are available in the phone, and that can be read using RFO Basic. Let's see, I think maybe I'll just try this. So again, RFO Basic, reading the orientation sensor in the phone, and through a simple little closed loop program, guiding the robot down a straight line.